A very warm welcome to Daily Dispatch, powered by HSBC. I'm Priya Shaitan, and joining me on this conversation is Mukul Rasagi from Class Plus. Thank you very much, Mukul, for joining us today. Uh, you know, Class Plus has been in news, raised seventy million dollars recently. Uh, tell us a little bit about what the fundraise means to you and what the funds will be utilized for. Thank you, Priya. Uh, thanks a lot. Um, I think this this is uh, as a part of the company fundraise is is is, is one part of building the business. Uh, obviously, the bigger part is how do we build for customers and what do we build for them. But I think um, most of this capital essentially is going to be used for product and tech development. Um, we are expanding internationally, so some of those, um, some of the capital would be needed there. I think we also have a great chance to do uh, a lot of partnerships and uh, a, a few new business lines that we are evaluating right now. So all in all, this is like growth capital, uh, and that is where we intend to use it for. But the core area remains the same. How can we build better for our end customers? And uh, yeah, product and tech are on the at the top of that. Right. You know, this fundraise comes just a few months after you raised sixty-five million dollars uh, last year. Um, so tell us, like, two consecutive fundraises means that Class Plus has very aggressive plans uh, for growth. So tell us what the pillars of growth will be for Class Plus going forward. But right. so I think uh, uh, not uh, one thing where we uh, do not say is that we. We do, did not raise capital because we were burning very fast and we needed to raise capital. I think in general we like that we are well uh, capitalized as a company. It allows us to take better decisions. Uh, it does not. Uh, it does not force us to take decisions which are really not long term. And I think more than capital, what is really really important for us, and that is not just in fundraising but in every aspect of clusters. I think um, we are really obsessed with the kind of people we we'll, we partner with. Now whether they whether they are the part of the company. Or they're on the or they're on the investor side, or even the companies who we end up partnering with. Uh, I think who we all of people who we partner is supremely important for us. And I think what's even like better than two consecutive large fundraisers in a year is the kind of investors, the kind of uh, reputed global capital players who are actually coming in and reinforcing their faith in something that Classpress is building. And we're one of those few companies. The we're very fortunate to be one of the few companies that experience that. So I think um, yes, people are the pillar, um, whether on investing side or on the consumer side or on the business side, and yeah, um, so that is that is why two back-to-back fundraisers really happen. Right, uh, but what will the capital be used for? If you say uh, you know going forward, these are the three or four key areas of growth that you're exploring. What would be these three or four uh, areas Absolutely. that you've charted out for yourself? Got it. So I think uh, one thing that we've uh, now seen is that uh, class plus, although it started off with uh, a use case of academic uh, offline coaching institutes and tuition centers, I think over the last one year, what we've really seen is that there's a huge adoption uh, from the content creator side as well. And anybody who wants to launch their online teaching business can essentially do that via class plus. So, so today we have, apart from just academic, we have a huge uh, population who's using class plus for launching their classes in anything right from something like a personality coaching to language training to computer uh, uh, programming to probably uh, journalism to anything right so uh, people are just using us as a stack for launching any of their uh, online coaching businesses and i think that's a great testimony to the kind of product we've been able to build so i think content creators is a market that we really want to uh, look forward to at and we want to ensure that anybody who wants to uh, become an educator and becoming an educator should again be fashionable and uh, anybody who wants to do that should be able to use our product so that is one very focused area on how how we are um, we are ready to spend our lives in order to serve educators and now even content creators right that's one secondly um, we are taking the product international uh, we have launched in a select geographies uh, in few select geographies in southeast asia and i think uh, building for their understanding their consumer persona um, I think that's that's another very key focus for us. Despite that, I think uh, we at Cluster still see seventy five percent plus uh, customers coming from tier two and tier three India, and like we are very we are one of those very lucky startups who are seeing that kind of penetration in the Bharat of of uh, of this side without significant market span. So I think we have definitely found a product market fit in tier two and tier three India. I am personally very very excited over there. So I think building more for that side. And uh, reaching out to tier four, tier five is another focus area. And then fourthly, I think you can always build your business verticals better, whether it's sales, customer success, product, tech. I think in general, uh, building a more efficient company, building a more world class uh, 
uh, company building better processes in order to ensure every vertical in the company does well that anyway uh, is always on the focus area so i think these are the three four areas where you want to spend not just capital but significant amount of time and energy as well uh, right uh, mukul uh, tell us uh, some key metrics that uh, you've been closely tracking and how growth has been over the last couple of months and uh, if you could share us the kind of um, you know numbers in terms of what the key metrics of growth have been so far a few stuff on that side for example uh, uh, it's it's very common for knowledge that we have now digitized more than 100000 educators in helping them launch their online net now i'll tell you something very interesting as i told you before uh, more than 3 or Three fourth of this audience actually comes from tier two and tier three India, which is supremely surprising. These hundred thousand educators would have served more than twenty five, thirty, thirty five, something around uh, number of students over their uh, over this span, right? Uh, what's been really great is that an average educator, uh, once using Class Plus, has seen their profitability go by two to three x over the next six to eight months. And uh, in general, yeah, there are there are a bunch of numbers, but the core remains same. That how do we help educators reach out to more students and uh, and 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 do more stuff with them rather than just offer in classroom teaching. Right, Mukul, uh, tell us what kind of targets have you set for yourself in terms of revenue, in terms of growth? Uh, give us uh, some numbers out there. I think uh, as a company, we've been growing four uh, x to four to five x every year for the last two years. Uh, the beautiful thing about us is that. Uh, we're not just dependent on covid i think when uh, immati so we over the last two years we have seen two cycles of covid we have seen two cycles of lockdown but what has been constant is the unnerving passion of the team and uh, a beautiful response from the market and uh, and a very sustainable growth that we have seen so and uh, so i think that uh, that in itself is a big testimony to what we are doing so over the last two two, two years we have been going four to five x I don't think we want to grow lesser than that, even in the, even this year. So I think everything should go on a scale of four to five x, and then obviously in in terms of international, let's see how we how we do stuff. Right, uh, Mukul. Uh, any other categories, any other niches that you're going to be branching out into, uh, new additions to the segment already existing on the platform? No, I think uh, we are a horizontal SaaS platform. Uh, even we don't know what kind of use cases we serve. We come to know from our customer base only that hey, uh, so when somebody pings us that hey, I've used Class Plus to now monetize, stream, and distribute uh, my X type of classes, right? So what that X is, we started off with a platform for educators. Now we are used for almost by any kind of content creator. So we are no ones to decide what we should be used for. We get a good surprise from the customer base on the new cases that they find us suitable for. All right, Mukul, thanks very much for joining us today. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thanks for your time.